soils of India. These categories of soil are identified in India. Alluvial soil. This is a very fertile soil and supports the growth of agricultural crops. This kind of soil is found in northern plains and east coastal plains. It is formed by the deposition of alluvium brought down by the rivers flowing down the Himalayas. Black soil. This soil is found on the Deccan Plateau covering large parts of Maharashtra, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. It is black in color and is most suitable for agriculture. Trivia Formation of soil is a lengthy process. It takes about 500 years to form a layer of soil of about 1 inch thickness. Laterite soil This soil is found in patches on the Meghalaya Plateau and Western Ghats where rainfall is heavy. It is poor in quality. Red soil It is found in the western part of the Peninsula Plateau. It is reddish in color. It is not very fertile. Mountain soil This is an undeveloped soil and found on the Himalayan region. Soil erosion Depletion and erosion are the two main problems of soil. Continuous cultivation of crops robs the soil of its fertility. If the same crop is grown every year, the soil may get deficient in some nutrients. Some crops help to maintain soil fertility by returning nitrogen content to the soil, for example, leguminous crops. Fertility can also be restored by application of manures and fertilizers. But the chemicals used in fertilizers can render soil unfit for cultivation in the long run. The most important problem of soil is soil erosion. Loose soil devoid of vegetation is liable to higher rate of erosion. Physical and human factors also contribute to soil erosion. Physical factors include intensity of rainfall and velocity of wind. Human factors include deforestation, overgrazing, reuse of chemical fertilizers and faulty irrigation practices as our irrigation leads to salination. Soil Conservation the wise and rational use of soil so as to protect it from erosion is called soil conservation. If we don't take steps to protect soil from erosion, then life on earth would become difficult. We must protect forests from destruction. More trees are to be planted in open areas as roots of trees help to bind the soil together. Measures should be taken to control floods by building check dams, contour plowing, Crop rotation, controlling overgrazing are some measures by which soil conservation is possible. Some of the methods used by the farmers across the world to conserve soil are Contour plowing. In this method, the farmers plow along a slope rather than up and down the slope. It reduces erosion. Terrace farming. This is a process in which hill slopes are used as cultivable land. The farmer cuts terraces into slopes to create flat areas to grow crops because flat land is scarce in hilly areas. Crop Rotation This is a practice in which different crops are grown in systematic succession. Crop rotation adds nutrients to the soil. It also helps in pest control. Another effective method of soil conservation is afforestation or planting of trees on a large scale. Planting a large number of trees reduces wind speed and free flow of water and thus stops soil from being carried away. Use of eco-friendly fertilizers and planting of indigenous trees and shrubs are significantly helpful in soil conservation. Water Resources Two-thirds of the earth is covered with water. Most of the earth's fresh water is found in rivers, streams, lakes and ponds. The saline water in the ocean has to be treated before it is fit for consumption. Water is an indispensable resource because all types of water are dependent on it. Fresh water is used in agriculture and also for industrial and domestic consumption. But its availability depends on the amount of rainfall in an area. Some places get heavy rainfall while others remain deficient. In areas of heavy rainfall, Water seepage creates a good reserve of groundwater which is another source of fresh water. The amount of available fresh water may also vary according to the pattern of consumption in a region. 
However, the water cycle in which water evaporates, forms clouds and then precipitates back to the surface, keeping the amount of water almost stable. In many countries, including India, river valley projects have been developed to utilize water for various purposes. For multi-purpose projects, dams are constructed and water is collected in a reservoir. This water is put to various uses such as irrigation, hydroelectric power generation, afforestation, navigation, etc. Most of the large rivers across the world have been utilized for this purpose. The amount of rainfall in India is unevenly distributed, which makes fresh water availability insufficient in many regions. After independence, the government undertook many multi-purpose projects to make water easily available for farming and other activities. Many such projects have made the states of Gujarat and Rajasthan fit for agriculture and also help in controlling floods and soil conservation. However, increasing urbanization, water pollution and absence of water management are responsible for the choking of fresh water supplies the world over. The government at various levels needs to develop ways to conserve and manage water resources. Trivia Fresh water accounts for only 2.5% of the Earth's water and most of it is frozen in glaciers and ice caps. The remaining unfrozen fresh water is mainly found as groundwater with only a small fraction present above ground or in the air.